We're live. Hello! Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi, world. Welcome. Hello. To episode 13. Number lucky 13. I said number lucky. Lucky number, number lucky 13. 13. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, number lucky 13 today. Number lucky 13 of the Level Unlocked podcast. The greatest it's place on the internet for video game news, fun, and pure randomness. I oh, boy, order. do we have pure randomness tonight? Because I got You're some random. stories to tell you. Always. Yeah, I am myself, I Mr. Jeremy, Captain underscore Geech Walker. That's G-E-E-C-H, not Gooch, not Gotch, Geech 15. Next to me are my two amazing co-hosts, Mr. Splash Screen Gaming, Jeff Schroeder, and Mr. Schrodinger's Splash Screen. Exactly. Schrodinger's Splash Screen? Yeah, as, as it's always, both splashed and not splashed at the same time. Splashing That's all over the know. place, baby. Jumping in the pool and splash you get. It's both splashed and not splashed at the same time. Exactly. Yep. The science. All the splashes. And then Mr. White Headphones himself. Mr. James, people I hate studios, and I hate yeah. people 10, Scalzooters. I hate people 10? No. Oh, people, people I, I hate, hate 10. 10. My people bad. I hate 10. Yeah. What did I say? I hate people 10? <laughs> that would be a perfect name. <laughs> that's that's going to be my, like, <laughs> that's going to be, like, my uh, one fan. No. <laughs> They're going to make, like, an account that's just that on, like, Twitter. I hate uh, people I hate 10. How many people do you hate? Only ten. Don't ten, make only ten. <laughs> Don't you know make the list. You you know why it's ten. No why. That's all yeah. the room you have for? No. Because people I hate was taken. Oh, well, that works. Do not be on the list of the ten most hated people that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> do not get on the list. Don't get on the list. Don't do that to yourself. Don't Anyways, pass. welcome to an, another amazing episode. Thank you for everyone who's been hanging out. Up to 187 strong. Yeah, we're shooting and for the one person. One person in the UK. Yes, which is thanks huge. to our one UK listener. Thank you, thank Where's you, for wherever you are. Baby. <laughs> what? What? Get it overseas. Yeah, we got Canada, and we got a dude. We got a bro over in a uh, in uh, the UK. Heck yeah, man! Hopefully that stems to Mexico soon. I'm only an hour away. Let's go, guys. Let's see what we got. Hopefully next episode we're shooting for the big 200, which would be absolutely phenomenal. 13 oh, yeah. episodes, 200 downloads. It's pretty solid. I appreciate uh, everybody. Would be good. But anyways, let's start off with how everyone is doing today. Mr. Uh, Schroeder, because I know, James, you got a lot. So let's go with Schroeder. Do. How you doing? What's up, man? How you been? How's the week going? Uh, how's the project? I have been yeah, how's, how, how's, how's the server? <laughs> it's amazing. It is awesome. Um, I've not gotten much sleep. <laughs> I've not eaten much food or drank much water. Thank God I have the monitor light to for sustenance. Uh, <laughs> all you no, need. It's going, yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, put a lot of hours into it. Uh, we, me and my buddy Mark are really killing it. But that's about it. It's been epically lame on my part. Otherwise, I haven't <laughs> done anything else. That's literally all I've been doing. No joke. Like, I can't wait for it to be done just so that I can sit yeah. back. But I'm you thinking we're going to be other things. Yeah, we're going to be opening it up to beta possibly this week. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, because we got to test out the villain stuff. And in order to do that, you have to have two cops online and then whoever's <clears throat> doing the villainry. And it's usually just Mark and I. And sometimes my buddy Acid, jump, or, you know, Acid jumps on too. Uh, he's actually the one that uh, is paying for the server. Um, oh, so nice. he jumps on and he tinkers around as well. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's it's been a lot of fun, but that's kind of literally all I've been doing. But uh, Hey man, for those who are for those who uh, don't know Grand Theft Auto 5 server that is, is what he's making. It's going to be epic, so stay stay tuned yeah, for it. Yeah, we're going through and we're we're, we're kind of literally hand scrubbing every single mod that we add. And there's a lot of them, dude. There's like 250 mods and every oh, one shit. of them Yes, and well, some of them work right out of the box. But most of, or I don't know, I don't know if most or not, because that's a lot. There really is like 250, and a lot of them do not work right out of the box, or they don't work correctly, or they're just not optimized. So our game plan is to basically go through and make it 
fucking perfect as close to perfect as we can get and there's all types of really cool interactive stuff that takes it out of game like one of the jobs for instance is a reporter so what we're going to do with the reporter's role is we're actually going to whitelist that character to have access to um or it's going to be a whitelisted job so the only way to get the job is to like know one of the the, the moderators or one of the you know what i mean yeah, and like actually apply for it because that would give them access to a Google a Google Docs sheet, and when they make edits to the Google Docs sheet, in game there's a tablet. You you open up a tab you, you know you open up this tablet and click on the button for news, and it shows that Google Doc. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's disgusting. So, Is that like yeah, interview ju- questions and shit? Huh? Is that like interview yeah, questions? Yeah. Well, that's the journal or that's the journalist job, and that's the reporter job. So the journalist job has the same type of permissions, and they make money from the moderators. The moderators pay them per article they write. And the idea is that they're, there's literally living, breathing humans that are actually keeping up on the news articles of what's going on within the server as far as communities within the server. That's phenomenal. That's disgusting. I, I can imagine also Super cool. if there's like a crime scene going on, they might go over there and write yes. articles about that. So that's why they would have they, the job is whitelisted because it kind of gives them. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to set it up this way. I don't know 100, percent but it gives them the ability to teleport. Oh, okay. So if there's something crazy going on, they can get to the scene before the craziness is over. Oh, what's the movie from Jake Gyllenhaal where he's a reporter? Uh, they, um, I can't think of it. Um, something to think about in ter- incorporating. But Jake Gyllenhaal was. It's a movie that he's in. I think it's like Night Owl or something, Nighthawk or something. But he's uh, a reporter. And he's not getting knocked down. No, no, he, he he's a, he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he he's a reporter, but none of these news stations are taking his feedback. They're not taking his reports. Oh, so what he yeah. starts doing is he starts manipulating the crime scene. He moves. Oh, that's he, cool. He moves the bodies to a certain position, takes yeah, pictures, and and he um, starts he starts manipulating the crime scene. So everyone's like, "How are you getting these?" And he's like, "I'm just getting lucky, man." Yep, so in, in a sense, about. he's like he's like a criminal, did see that. but he's also a reporter at the same time. That, that yeah. that'd be, that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> but just the sense to know that you good. you can fucking make a Google Doc and put that into the game. That's just that's disgusting. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, the Discord even works. So like you could be at work, pick up your phone, type something in the Discord, and they can see it in the game. And the the tablet has that as well. Which that's is, rad. That's like some of the little tiny extra little features we're adding. I've been working on primarily. Uh, getting the jobs all working and looking correctly and uniforms right and uh, I've been tinkering a little bit with the items really marks the wizard he's the one that takes care of kind of everything else so when suddenly you know you hit the button to put you know to go to hide in the trunk you don't you're, you're you don't go invisible so it looks like you're hiding in a trunk yeah you know I could be like Mark this thing is doing this and he's like okay give me a minute and he fucking wizards that shit back to life. It's pretty incredible. Uh, it's super fun. I was just talking to uh, Geech here. Honestly, if you changed the map, this could be GTA 6, kind of. Just not with a graphical overhaul. Like somewhere. its own game. Yeah, it could be its own game. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's pretty That's neat cool. what you can do. It's pretty neat the, po- the, like, the potential power you have with just knowing how to read and write certain types of code and stuff. Yeah. There's so much of that, though. It's so much tinkering. It's insane. (laughs) And then restarting the server and then tinkering, (laughs) changing one number and restarting the server and changing another one number. Restarting the server, deleting the cache. It's crazy. Like, you you edit the code, save it, delete the cache, restart the server, and then you can test it. And that's for every single change you make. It's so crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Man, I can't even imagine that. How it can get almost monotonous at sometimes. You know, Some just are. doing like changing one small thing, having to completely close down the server and everything, change one thing, reopen it, reload yep. into it. To and see that's why... hey, this didn't work. Yep. And that's why we're we're uh we're restarting or we're not that's why the server isn't really open yet because we're trying to get taking care of the things that require you know 13 restarts in 10 minutes yeah you know what i mean like yeah. 
or like over the course of an hour, you know, it's, you can't really, and the thing about it is certain things <clears throat> during a server restart, certain things completely despawn. So like if you're running around, I don't know, for example, if you're, if you're a, a player running around doing a, like a job, you, got, you a certain vehicle spawns in and you drive to the spot and do the job, the vehicle will despawn. Yeah. So that time is completely wasted. So it's like, you know, we're going through and cleaning up a lot of Give that. Give the big of things first. Yeah, and then once we have all the big things all ironed out, then we'll move into the move into the um, well, the next phase, which is at the present moment, we're almost ready to uh, start testing the criminal stuff. And then once we know all the criminal stuff works, I think we're good to go. Wow. Do you know how yeah. many how many different jobs you currently got? Oh my heavens! I got, yeah, actually, here. Let me pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Actually, because it's I'm working on the, just like how the news reporter works, mm -hmm. with uh, writing into the Google Doc. I'm doing that with the jobs. So when you open the tablet up, there's a job section, and it has all of the jobs and all the descriptions, and it's all customized. Like, that's what I'm saying, man. There's a nice. lot of fucking buttons to push. There are. <laughs> I'm basically writing a fucking book while I'm doing this. That's awesome, though. Yeah, Schroeder yeah. was telling me that if uh, you change the map, you change like the buildings. It's a pretty much a whole new. It's a whole new game, which is awesome. That's what you just said. Oh yeah. So Sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't know that. if you guys can open this. I'm gonna put it in the thing here. See if you can open that. But that's uh that's the jobs sheet that I'm working on. It's not done. It's a work in progress, but. Like, this is an example of, and it's funny, like, when you click on the links into the table of contents, it actually works on the tablet, it'll bump you right down to that job. Said, I needed, per cool. said I needed permission. And I, I, to view it? Yeah, I said, request permission. Your request has been sent. You will receive an email once you are approved. Hold on. Access denied. It's supposed to be set to public. I don't know why it's being a butt. Here. Being the biggest butt. Try that link, maybe. Now it says published at the end of it, so maybe that's... You guys can see that one? Yep. Let's see. Yeah, that, that one came up. Okay. Okay. But it looks really cool on the tablet in the game. <laughs> Fisherman. Miner. Yeah. Minor 49er, Lumberjack. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm still working through it, adding all the pictures and typing it all out. And that, Did you make this on your phone or your computer, this doc? On a computer. You could do it on the phone, technically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Part of it's cut <laughs> off for me. Yeah, I'm so helps. stoked to see that, uh, that uh, GIFs work. I haven't tested that in the server yet, but under the reporter job, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a video. It's a GIF, and it's a first look inside Google self-driving car, and it's somebody just fucking plowing through a bunch of people. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping funny. it shows up in the tablet, but I don't know if it will. That's I'll hilarious. I'll test it after we're done here tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. That's awesome. No, I can't wait. I think it's going to be epic, though. It's going to be, it's going to be changing, though, and that's. A lot of details, man. Oh yeah, that's why I said make yep. sure you you do post on uh the social, the media, so people know you're still alive. So <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Because it's been uh what like two weeks since you've actually been on on technical. Well, you've been on like a couple of times, but like other than of, this, I haven't really been yeah. doing much. Yeah, yeah. This is, what, this is my lifeline back to the show. <laughs> but no, that's good, man. That's internet. it's consistency. You want to get it done. You want to make sure that it's uh um. That it's there, so that's uh, keep it up, don't stop. So, if anybody stop, out there is stop. interested in joining a pretty R, uh, yeah, pretty RP, fucking GTA server, let us know, and uh, when we get it up and running, man, make sure uh, you definitely throw me that uh, that invite, cause I, I want to be a cop. I gotta practice. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. That's a great idea. Uh, so well, that'd, that'd be you good could practice. even be like commissioner of the Rangers or something. I don't know, because there is the job in there. Is there's there's a there you can be a cop or you can be a ranger. Yeah, okay. I don't know what yeah. the differences are because I haven't tested the ranger job yet. 
But uh, yeah, man, I'll let you know. Nice, That'd be good ship. Uh, James, you want me to go next? Do you want to go? Yeah, you can go next. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna actually kind of eat a little bit. Gotcha. Uh, don't, don't mind the the crunches for my uh, chips. For from... myself, I went hiking in the the, the desert yesterday. Uh, rolled nice. my rolled my ankle, my other one. Uh, good. Fucking hurts like shit today. Uh, my right That's ankle. That's why I don't go out. My right ankle, I rolled twice last month. Um, so it's still sore when I move it certain ways. Like I'm pretty sure there's some pretty big ankle, high ankle sprains. Um, when I rolled my right ankle, I'm pretty sure I, uh, so I had my dog in one hand and I was carrying the stroller in the other. My foot slid off the pavement and I rolled my ankle. My dog went flying. I went to the ground and I <laughs> mooned this lady that was outside. I know for a fact I did <laughs> because I had to pull up my pants. My ass was physically hanging out. Um, oh my goodness! So you fucking white trash piece yep. of shit. <laughs> and then like two weeks, and like a week later, I was literally just inside of a Safeway, which is this down here's version of Giant Eagle grocery store. Yeah. Um, rolled my ankle just just walking, just gave out, rolled it. <laughs> Yesterday walking, um, had my son on my shoulders. Rolled my ankle, rolled my other ankle. Luckily, I did save my son; he didn't fall. So dad of the year status right there, baby. You know it. <laughs> um. So, but today it hurts so bad. That, yeah. that, See, that was fun. That That is a prime reason I don't go outside <laughs> when I don't need to. Because there's just, you could just hurt yourself just taking a step. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It was bad. And then I walked like 20 more feet and then rolled again because it gave out. I was like, Jesus Christ. It fucking hurt. Scratched my knees all up from the all the desert sand and rocks. Um, so that, so that, that was fun for yesterday. And then, uh, Living on the fucking Your body head. is yeah. telling you something, Walker. <laughs> um, Your body is saying, stop. I know, right? <laughs> um, then uh, me and James played uh, with Jeremy Miller and uh, Nick. Uh, we discovered the game of Uno. Well, we didn't discover yeah. it. We, well, we got didn't. back into it. We got back into it, but it, the shit Because fucking everyone intense. has fucking Uno when you yes. play on the – when you have a 360. But uh, shit's intense, though. It's – Oh, I'm pretty, so I, I guarantee that game ruin, ruins friendships. <laughs> oh my god! I was about to murder one of you guys because um, it's at least three times. Oh, that that game is, it's the most fun that I think I've had in a game in a very long time. Yeah, it was so much fun. It's just stupid humor because you you get skipped over. And you get skipped over again. You get skipped over again. You're like, okay, can I fucking have a goddamn turn? (laughs) And then they reverse it. And then they reverse it again. Or you play a seven and you swap hands. And then another person throws a seven down. Swap the same hands. And oh my god. And then, uh, or you're about to have one card and someone throws a fucking draw four at you. You tell me you can go fucking kill yourself, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the language. It's very R-rated, to say the least. Oh, yeah, <laughs> very, very <laughs> R-rated. Uh, Sounds like it. Oh, my God. Not no Detective Pikachu rated PG-13 where he could say fuck at least once. Uh, no. And, and the worst part is each time we played, so I had, a, I had a move, as you can see in the background here, I had to move my game system. My my computer setup into my bedroom. Yeah, how did your wife like that? Oh my god! So I, I'm I'm want to go. Are you fucking kidding me? But I have to be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like I have to like whisper, yell, because I'm so pissed that just this just happened. Oh, there she's were times. To... There were there were times you you cracked. Oh, I know. There were times he fucking cracked and he was yelling. <laughs> oh, there was. I would I... love to have seen the look of just pure. <laughs> Disappointment and hatred on your wife's face at that moment. Oh my god! Because I, I, I try, I try to keep it calm. Like, okay, guys. Oh fuck you, man. Sometimes I was like, fuck. <laughs> I just like screamed it. <laughs> oh, it, it was hard to contain the the, the anger sometimes. Yeah, very um, hard. Sounds like it. But all of us were like that, though. It was just, it was funny. We, we were dying laughing. We were crying. And it was, cause it was so funny. Um, that's that was. It was honestly probably one of the best streams at least for myself that i've done just in terms of uh yeah, just laughing and just having fun because it's something different you know it's yeah get you out of the realm of playing the same old shit so yeah uh well, that is funny you said yeah. that was available on what pc and uh console yeah Both? yep yep steam okay. or whatever and um, on mobile devices yep but uh, yeah it was the reason why we all got gotcha. it it was it was on sale for 2.99 so it's not oh, on, really? it's not on sale yeah. anymore but but yeah, it was 
beyond epic and then we played some they have uh special if you they, you can buy a special deck that has like random magic cards in it um and one of the t one of the time one of the decks that we played it's if somebody has to draw because they don't have a card basically this bomb goes off and you automatically pick up five cards so i yeah. put it down I'm like ha ah, fuckers one of you is going to draw oh. Nick goes, yeah. he puts a card down, doesn't draw. Miller goes, he puts a card down, <laughs> doesn't draw. James goes, puts a card down, doesn't draw. I go back, and all I do is... <sighs> and you hear... And you hear... <laughs> Sigh of disappointment. <laughs> and you hear Miller go, you fucking just screwed yourself. And so I had a draw. <laughs> or or oh, there was man. the one that we were playing where I threw down a card. There was one card that will throw five cards out to everyone who uh to the other three players who didn't play that card yeah and then it will throw down another five cards to a random selection of l four players hmm. i throw that down and walker gets all five yeah it's supposed to be spread out between, it's supposed to be spread out between everybody i get all five i'm like how the fuck do i get all five cards like what bullshit and is then this he gets another three yeah after yeah, that what fresh what fresh <laughs> uh, but no that was so we were dying laughing no, what was, fucking malarkey yeah. is that <laughs> yeah. It, yeah that was like two plays after i screwed myself but it was just so funny i, I just <sighs> And then all of them start dying laughing because I know exactly what happened. Yep. And Miller was like, yep. you just played yourself. <laughs> yep. I know, Miller. I was there when I did it. <laughs> like, How does that even happen? How does that even That's happen? That's so good. <laughs> I should have so clipped good. it. I really should have. I need to go back and clip you it. Say, it was... Yeah, you, 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 you clipped that shit. Oh, because it was literally the funniest thing. Oh. I, it, was, it was unbelievable. Um, and obviously, uh, days not days gone. Uh, James will talk about that in a second. World um, War Z. World War Z, which we did beat, uh, kind of. Oh, okay. Um, we should save that until okay. after. Yeah, we'll save like, that. We could, we could talk about World War Z. We could talk about Avengers. Yep. Avengers. Um, so we'll save that. So we played that. Um, haven't played Call of Duty, uh, which isn't no, a bad thing. No, no. And that's pretty much thing. about it. Apex is dead, so I haven't played that. Yeah. I need to delete Apex that off my Apex is dead, so <laughs> don't <laughs> plays it. Uh, it's only averaging about 20,000 people now. Wow. Only. Oh, it's it's still a lot, Only. but you got to compete. You got to think. What was it? A month and a half ago, two months ago, it was at two hundred thousand plus. Uh, mm. And I, I actually have some. I actually have something interesting in my news about Apex and Titanfall. I'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, oh, are we talk about how Titanfall three is getting shelved for yeah. now. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, you know, because of Apex. Yeah. So uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about it, but. Um, we'll talk about the it. two kind of go the, the two kind of go hand in hand so um but uh and uh, I told Schroeder cuz you weren't on yet but um I am a uh, seeking career outside of Best Buy potentially oh, really? we'll see what happens I applied last night for the Arizona Police Academy That's crazy bro I can see the the look in confusion in James's face by the pure silence he has <laughs> It's either it's no, like you're going to say no. I'm too fat or like, okay. what the fuck am I doing? No, no, I am all for this. I am all for this. <laughs> but you need to move back to Texas. Yeah. You yeah, know so why? You can't be a cop. No, he has to be a motherfucking ranger. Yep. So he can be Walker, <laughs> Texas Ranger. Yeah. I fucking wish, yeah. dude, that the state police in Texas make more, make double, if not triple, than every other state. In the United States, really? For, yeah, um, the Texas State Police Ranger, um, their average pay is uh, when it's all said and done, ninety thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah, that every Damn. other state is around forty to fifty. Some states are less. Yeah, Arizona, Arizona's forty-two thousand for a pol Jesus state police officer. Christ. The t Tucson police make more than the state police. Which That's I don't, which, which I don't fucking get. That doesn't make any sense. No, because I, I was gonna apply for the state police, and I saw the price. I'm like, okay, never mind. I guess I'll apply for the Arizona. I guess I'll apply for Tucson. So the physical test, obviously, I'm assuming I'll get. Um, I'm assuming my my application will get processed. I don't see why it would get denied. You'll get mad Fs. Um, will uh the fit test and the written test for respect are on June 21st. 
So I essentially have now until June twenty first to get fit. So because... it'll be about I, I give it a month. So I believe in you. Because uh, you it's it's you, man. Like yeah. you can fucking shave all that weight off in like half a month. Yeah. So that's that's why I joined the gym. That's why I sent you that picture yesterday was for that, so um had my uh chicken and rice and veggies today. My dad's making steak go. right now, so gonna eat that. But yeah, it'll be um it'll be interesting because I have a strong feeling I will be one of the oldest people that apply because you have to be twenty one at the time of graduation of the academy to be accepted into it. So there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be probably twenty one, twenty two years old. Something like that. If not people that are twenty gonna become twenty one that are going to mm-hmm. be a part of this. So it's going to be me going on 30 in August, fat and out of shape, competing with these. <laughs> <laughs> and balding. Don't forget and balding. balding. <laughs> competing with these uh, fit college students. So With luscious locks of hair. Exactly. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be quite interesting to see what happens. But I'm going to try. I want to I do something new. I told Schroeder I want to be the – I want to be different than the stereotypical police officer like the – because I've been watching some videos like police brutality, like why did you pull this person over? I do this, 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 and this, and I want to be like, I want to be different, and I want that's, I want I want to change. I want to start a change in that sense, so and have like a a, a sense of purpose and meaning. So that's kind of why I'm a, I'm doing that. There you go. So we'll see. Uh, close to that midlife crisis era. Yeah, uh, pretty yeah. much is what it is. Yeah. Right um, there. So we'll see. Um. Go? We'll see what happens, but I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, I'm starting that journey, and that uh, that'll exciting. be uh, that'll be an uphill climb, but I'll get it done. I'll give you guys the weekly updates on my on my fat on to your fit fitness. health and fitness you yeah. know, journey. <laughs> on my my fat to fit for the police academy. <laughs> <laughs> police academy fat. To... Hey, wasn't that one of the That's sequels for, to? Yeah. Was that one of the sequels to uh, Police Academy? Wasn't that one of the, like the straight to DVD? Probably. Academy sequels. Probably something like that. But yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much my biggest news. I got two fucked up ankles, and I applied for the police academy. So <laughs> here it goes. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, James? Uh, so first, I want to say thank you guys for complimenting me on my haircut. Fuck all you. Uh, <laughs> I can see. Well, I can see it now that you said that. Yeah. yeah. Stuff anymore. It, it yeah, and like notice how the beard is shaved too. Okay, I now that you say it, it run, run webcam, <laughs> so it's hard to say, you, it's hard to see, you dick. Yeah. So. Um, so, I had a pretty fucking eventful week. All right? Yeah, minus the whole personal shit going on uh, that I don't want to get involved with uh, on a podcast. Uh, minus all that. Um, so, what was it? Friday night, I think it was? I think it was Friday. Thursday or Friday? Thursday. Uh, I almost got, I almost beat the shit out of a trucker. Yes, I was gotten to yes, a straight fist fight with the, with a fucking trucker. Oh, like a real fight, like a yeah, like a real yeah. fight. I almost, I almost kicked this dude's ass. Um, <laughs> uh, so what happened was hell of a story. I yeah. So what happened was I was, I was taking the highway. I was going home. Okay, and this this truck pulls on, you know, to the on ramp. I'm like, okay. So I go around it. Yeah. And I'm going like, you know, 55, 60, you know, normal speed uh, up here. And he turns on his high beams behind me. Hey. I'm like, all right, asshole. Fuck you. But OK, I'll live with it. The guy then proceeds to speed up next to me. And without putting on his turn signal, just cuts right in front of me, like less than a car length away. Why? He just Pulls up in front of me and slams on his fucking brakes. What the fuck? So Why? I slam on my brakes too and kind of Obviously. swerve a little out of the way. So then I'm driving. He A-hole. speeds up. We both get off on the same intersection or at the same uh, uh, exit. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So I'm behind this guy. He turns into the get go that he turns into the get go off the interstate, which I was also heading to. Okay. So, I park. He parks kind of near me. Okay? And he gets out of his truck. I'm turning off my phone because I had, like, a podcast playing and shit. And he gets out of his car 
of his truck, he comes up to me while I'm still in the car, and he starts going, fuck you, man, fuck you, you piece of shit, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, 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 fuck asshole, you're an asshole, piece of shit, fuck you, and I'm like, dude, I have no idea like, what I I'm get, to... <laughs> I have yeah, no clue, okay. so then he's getting really close to me in my car, you know, he's like at my window, and I just yeah. hear him screaming through my window, you know, he's, he's saying to fuck off, all this kind of stuff, and I'm like, yeah. dude, get away, or I'm going to open this door, this car door and hit you. So he keeps, he keeps like, you know, egging me on and shit. So I kind of open the car door and push it, you know, to get him out of the fucking way. So he gets out of the way and I get up and I start walking into the get go. And he's like getting in my face. He's like, fuck you, you piece of shit. Learn how to fucking drive asshole. This, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck did I do? All I want to do is just go into get go and get a drink. All right. I just want to get a drink. No biggie. And he's like, still get up on me. I'm like, listen, just for the sake of this, just to shut your face up, I'm going to say sorry for whatever the fuck I did. I'm going to say sorry. I'm going to be the bigger man here. So let's just let bygones be bygones. He goes, no, man, fuck you. Fuck you. I'll lay you out right here. I'll lay your ass out right here. And I go, bitch, listen. All right. (laughs) I will knock your fucking ass on this ground i am not playing so he gets up in my face more i'm like boy you best back the fuck up i will lay your ass down right now so he still is like screaming into my face and then there's these other people like you know over at like the pumps and shit they're like kind of looking they're like what the the hell's going going on on over there (laughs) and i'm like listen you get back in your fucking truck right now So I can go in and get my goddamn drink or I'm going to lay your ass down in front of all these fucking people and make you look humiliated. And he goes, pussy ass bitch and leaves. (laughs) And I'm just standing there and these other people are looking at me. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? (laughs) I'm like, all I want is to get a drink and get home. That's all I want. Yeah. Well, that's fun. So I did that, and I get I get home and I stream. I'm streaming. Uh, I think we were playing World War Z or something. Yeah, at the end of it. And I, I, I oh no, we were. Did we start off with you know? No, we started off. Remember. We started off with World War Z. Yeah, because I was like fucking ranting and raving about that during the stream. I'm like, I fucking don't like this. I'm pissed. They just hear the intensity in my voice of how upset I am. <laughs> Oh, dude, he During was fuming. He was fuming. Uh, he's like, let me uh, fucking tell you. He sits down, let me fucking tell you a story. I'm like, he's like, I'm fucking yeah. pissed. I'm like, damn! Yeah, I was like, I ain't having any of this stuff. Right. Um, Heaven. So that was exciting. Um, I started playing Days Gone on PS4. Um, So I probably put maybe about... I'd say two hours or so into it, two and a half, maybe three, if I'm lucky. Uh, hours into days gone. Um, I will say, Schroeder, yeah, you look a lot like the main character. Yeah, I can see that now that now that you say Google, that. Do, like, like even off, like doesn't matter. Google Deacon Saint John, days gone, and right. you look almost identical. You look so similar. I have no idea how to spell Deacon Saint Don. John. John. Like Saint John's Cathedral. God nope. damn it! I need to relight my fucking cigarette. I'm still fucking heated <laughs> over that. Here, somebody put a link. Oh, that guy. You look like that guy. Who? You. Me? No. Look at you. What'd you say about my mom? You look just like that dude. That handsome oh. gentleman. Oh. That's just because of the webcam. This, <laughs> this is all messed up right now. Yeah. yeah. You look just I like, like a post apocalyptic zombie. <laughs> <laughs> zombie killer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's about. It's about Deacon and his best bud, Boozer, hanging out in the post apocalyptic uh, Pacific Northwest. They're just hanging out? Pretty so much. I mean, what, el- what else do you do in the post-apocalyptic zombie apocalypse? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Your best, I guess. So, <laughs> think of it. Yeah, your best. 
<laughs> so right. think of it like um you guys probably haven't played it no. but it reminds me a lot of uh horizon zero dawn a lot <sighs> where it's very it, open it. it's very open and you have to go around and like scavenge for materials and stuff like that and there's like different outposts that you go to that have civilization um th think of kind of like fallout almost okay. but it's um less on the it's less about it being you know hundreds of years in the future and more of like five like two or two years in the future okay okay after yep. the after the initial outbreak um so it's about them just kind of trying to trying to make life you know just trying work. to be work <laughs> do, do their stuff <laughs> yeah. um yeah, it's 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 interesting cuz there's a lot of things in it that the game does phenomenally. Okay. The the atmosphere is incredible. Uh one of the very first parts of the game, you are in a tunnel and you have Boozer in the back. He, Boozer's behind you riding his motorcycle cuz it's very emphasis uh, heavy emphasis on biker culture. So kind of like uh think Fallout mixed with uh sons of anarchy mm -hmm. okay and you know boozer's behind you with his motorcycle with the light shining and you're taking point taking out what they call uh, called freakers the zombies and you 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 know it's you're walking through this very dimly lit the, the only light here is from the headlight from the motorcycle and you're walking around and you're trying to, you know, you have to move cars out of the way and this kind of stuff. It's, it, it's very creepy and spooky. Um, and then, you know, you have different weather effects that happen during the game. Uh, mostly rain that affects things like handling when you're driving your motorcycle or because it, it has a lot of emphasis on stealth. So when it's raining and there's like a thunderstorm going on, it's harder for enemies to hear you oh, while you're walking cool. around. Um, absolutely gorgeous visuals. I mean, for the most part, uh, gorgeous visuals for a lot of things. Um, other things like NPC character models, uh, like just random Joe Schmoes that you kill, they don't look so hot. Uh, but, you know, the Freakers look pretty decent. They look like, they look like, uh, just bald zombie. Think of like the zombies from, uh, 28 Days. Okay. The 20 days or 28 weeks later. Yeah. Uh, bald, you know, they kind of look like cancer patients. I got you. You know, like terminal terminal 20 cancer patients. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, you just kind of go around. You do missions for people. You get bike parts to upgrade your motorcycle. And, yeah, you just go around have fun. Interesting. Um, there are parts of it because it, it does have like a horde mode like a, a horde feature kind of like world war z where you will just have hundreds of freakers come at you at one time is that in the actual game or is that a separate thing it's in the actual game okay okay so like at random times um because like the, crazy. like yeah. the trailer like you're in some kind of junkyard when you just have thousands of zombies coming at you like is that actually in the game do you know what i'm talking about i haven't gotten there yet i got you um but there was one point where there was uh during a cutscene it happened but i can imagine it happening in, in game too i've i have seen some in-game stuff and i do believe it does happen mm. but boy do the animations for them look rough really mm. like everyone else let's say it's running at um the animations are going at like 30 frames per second okay mm -hmm. when you have a large horde of freakers coming at you especially in cutscenes because it's all rendered in real time they're okay. maybe running at like 15 frames per second so like you can super obviously glitchy. yeah you could obviously see it's missing a lot of frames like, like it's just like st like stuttering like pretty much yeah okay. um another problem i have and i don't know because i don't know if it's saved onto my hard drive or my external drive but the fucking loading times <laughs> oh i bet Oh my god, the loading times are atrocious. Are they really? Yeah, it's probably... I think I clocked one at, like, to start up the game, to load into the game, It. I think it took me about a minute. Wow. That 
fucking floored me. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, that's I get it. Crazy. I get it. There's a lot of stuff, but I mean, you got to think, you know, you got games like uh, GTA 5 that load pretty quick. You got Horizon Zero Dawn that load pretty quick. You got Spider-Man that loaded pretty quick when it actually decided to work, when I finally got it working. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's... It... And there's this one part where, at the very beginning, I would say maybe about a mission in, Boozer um, gets encountered by these things called Rippers. These guys are called Rippers, which are like super like over the top religious cult people like they have okay. carvings in their skin of like <laughs> different things Fun. and they're like you wear the mark of the beast tattoos we will cleanse you and they're holding him down and they take a blowtorch and start just burning his arm burning the tattoo <laughs> he gets like third degree burns on there and the on, fire man, hurt. the fire on it during the cutscene, it looked like a fucking JPEG or a GIF that you could find off of Google. Really? It looked terrible. Ah, that's shame. Right. But then like in other parts, you know, there's like a barrel that had some fire in it. I'm like, this looks really good. So or, and when you're riding your motorcycle, you could see the textures change on plants and uh trees and that kind of stuff. Oh, so it's um, like rendering issues. Yeah, and um, you also have things like, I mean, the motorcycles are a little unwieldy to control, but that makes sense because it's a motorcycle. Yeah, right, but so it hasn't like, been super optimized yet, basically. No, no, and and like I think all that stuff can be fixed in patches. Oh, it definitely. All will that be. stuff definitely can be fixed in patches. Right. It's. I cannot give a proper judgment of the game yet. Because, again, like I said, I am nowhere near, like, anywhere in the game. Um, only a handful of hours, um, if that. Well, from um, what you've so, noticed so far, this is the judgment. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it is, I would probably give it, like, right now, if I had to say right now my review for it, the score I would give it is probably, like, a 6.5 out of 10. That's probably what I would give it. Okay. <clears throat> well, let us so uh, it's, let us know if fun. it um uh um if it gets any better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be playing it more uh, probably tomorrow or something like that. Um, I was thinking about streaming it. I'll just start. I'll just restart the game and then just start streaming it. Okay. Uh, because I think that might be fun oh, for a little yeah. bit to just stream it. Uh, uh, so might do that. Um. <clears throat> Uh, other than that, uh, started the Dynasty Warrior or Samurai Warriors Four Empires Let's Play with Mitchell for the YouTube channel. That's that game is fantastic. I love the Warriors games. Those are so much fun. Nice. Um, and then went and saw Endgame. Yeah, yeah. So talk about that here in a yeah. minute. How yeah, did you well, like that. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, talk yeah. about. We'll get yeah, to yeah, it yeah, after. We'll to after that, we yeah. talk about World War Z. Yep. So, right. uh, you want to start? Or you want me to go first? Because we have two different opinions. I feel coming into this game. So, World War Z is one of the most boring games I've played in a long time. <laughs> Not because it's bad, but because it's fucking mediocre. It is oh, such man. a gruelingly mediocre game that has such. You can call the set pieces when they happen. Like, way before they happen. Okay. You know? It's... Their main gimmick is what they use to... They... They don't... They made the environment to play off of the main gimmick. Yeah. So, the hordes of zombies. You're having tons of different times where you are in a place where it's like, Oh, hey, look. That's a pretty big drop. Guess what? 50 billion zombies come up there. <laughs> or, hey, look, this looks like a place that there will be a bunch of zombies that come out of. Hey, guess what? 20 minutes later, here they come. <laughs> yeah. It, my, my biggest problem with it is it, it, it reminds me of Left 4 Dead in a lot of ways, just without any of the charm of Left 4 Dead. 
whether it's okay. graphically character wise or environment wise it is very minus like a few levels it's very like muted colors color wise um yeah. jerusalem is probably the most colorful one but that has a lot of like orange and like tan because it's this like desert gotcha. um moscow is very white because of all the snow um new york city's very gray because of the cityscape um and Tokyo is just boring. <laughs> okay. Tokyo has a lot of uh, Tokyo has some color to it. It's still very gray, but it does have some color of it because of like the cherry blossoms, um, and then like some plant life and the ocean and that kind of stuff. So it has some stuff there, and I could see that. Hey, you know, they probably put a lot of their time and effort into this one area mm -hmm. into Tokyo. Because it's the most, it's the most appeasing to the eye. Gotcha. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I don't um, know anything about it. I didn't play it. Yeah. No, no John. Right, I was so going to say those, something. Those dangerous. are my gripes. Those are my big gripes with it. Okay. Um. Oh, and the checkpoint system fucking sucks because there isn't a checkpoint system. <laughs> you go forty-five fucking minutes in a goddamn mission, and then you just go, oh, you die, you die. The train driver gets eaten. <laughs> The train driver gets eaten, and you know, oh, that's forty-five minutes wasted. I'm never getting back. <laughs> See you later. Uh, Walker, go. <laughs> uh, oh man, that's the best part. Um, so <laughs> for me, um, I liked it. It was. Uh, I drink to forget this game. I I like um, these types of games because obviously there's no much. There's not much structure to it, and it's just basically go out there and fucking shoot your way through life. Um, well, like those, I, I guess I, I like those games more than other games um, compared to like your call of duties and shit. But uh, some of the things they could have, they could have worked on obviously is that the hundred percent, the, the interaction, the voice and stuff like that. There's no background story of the characters. So okay. and, unless you research the characters, you don't know like why they got together, like why they survived, like in left for dead. Um, like they kind of explain what they're going like in the one the one mission when uh, you have to fill up the car and the gas can and then you end w at the giant concert like they're talking about the concert like oh this fucking guy what Jimmy Bob whatever his name was I fucking love that dude man that's amazing um, oh, like that whole parts where like you're in the safe room yeah and you just hear fucking Ellis talk about how he wants to bang the one chick from Left 4 Dead One yep. <laughs> and what he's going to do that gives you character that gives you it's not just flavored text it develops the character and develops the world a little bit so yeah that's um so and it's that's that's different it, it, that brings to life a lot of uh um a lot of the different uh, aspects of it and so um yeah although, some of the times obviously when you shot somebody don't shoot me um Oh my god. Or or if you didn't go to the mission right away. Oh my how god. How much it just repeated itself. Um like if cuz at certain things you had to start uh kind of like Left 4 Dead, like when you click a lever and it makes the thing go doo -doo -doo -doo, like starts dinging and stuff like that, you know? That yeah. bring that brings on the horde. But I don't remember if Left 4 Dead did it, but if you don't do it right away and you wanted to they get don't. set up, they don't, they don't it just doesn't repeat itself. Hey, we got to click this lever. Yeah. It it gives you that big glowing mark at the lever, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, and this... it says like in text, "Get to the lever" or something. Yeah. Or, get to the lever to start the horde. The one of the thing your characters will constantly repeat: "Hey, we got to click this. Hey, we got to click this. We got to click this. We got to do this. We got to do this." Every thirty seconds, <laughs> you don't fucking hit that lever. The game will tell you to hit the lever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's uh. That that would be the only things. Otherwise, I like it. Um, I know Miller likes it as well, but uh, I like. Uh... I liked when I try when when Miller tried to get Suschek to, to buy, buy the game, <laughs> and Suschek's like no, and Miller goes why, and he points Suschek points to me. He goes, "This dude thinks it's a piece of shit. You think it's all right, and Walker loves it." One <laughs> <laughs> more. Um, more. Oh, oh, so you know how in Left 4 Dead it was kind of like uh, very linear, but a lot of the maps had, you know, different, you know, it was a little bigger 
in scope it was like a little bit more of like an arena shooter almost where you had a lot of wide open areas where a lot of room to move around and breathe mm-hmm. but it was still on a linear path yeah that doesn't happen that doesn't really exist in <laughs> in world war z it's very corridor to corridor i will say i love the the things you can unlock the different advancements oh, yeah. Some in of it's the cool. Some um it's really cool you have different levels and things like that you have special these um like hellraiser medic um i was a gunslayer and uh, just different. Uh, there's different things you can level up things along those lines. Those you have to keep playing for. I wish there was more. Uh, the levels. Um, there's only four chapters. Oh, there's four. There's four levels. Yeah. The first two have four chapters each. The third one has three, and the last one has two. I'm assuming they're gonna release DLC and they're gonna add more to it, like Left 4 Dead. Um, Probably. And I don't know if it would have taken longer or. Um, based on the difficulty we did as well, I guess we did a couple on easy, so that didn't that made him go a little faster. No, that made it doable. Not make it go faster. Um, well, yeah, it made it doable. Um, but they uh, um, some of the like the difficulties they should have nerfed a little bit. Like, um, we we actually did make it pretty far. The one insane one insane one we made it like five minutes. Yeah, uh, five minutes. <laughs> Um, which was longer than the first time we played Insane. We died, like, in 20 seconds, so. Yeah. Um, Insanity, not Insane. Um, or was, I don't, I don't know which one it's called. No, it's but Insane. It is Insane. It's, it's Insane difficulty. But, um, and obviously th- that brings another element to the game, like, that, that changes how you have to play it. We haven't played that enough to kind of figure out how to adapt from it, but James can't play it anymore anyways, because he deleted the game. Oh, boy, so... <laughs> So once we beat the final mission, all right, the final mission to get all the, the the trophies for beating the missions. This is what happens. We're waiting in the lobby, and you know Walker and Miller are making jokes. They're like, "Oh yeah, so now we're going on to to normal difficulty, right?" And I'm like, "Okay, guys, give me one second. So I press the home button on the PlayStation. I go over to the game. And I fucking delete it. <laughs> and they're like, oh, did James leave? James, did you uh, get disconnected? I'm like, no, I just fucking deleted the game. Well, because at first he's silent. We're like, where'd James go? James. Doesn't say anything. Me and Miller are like, oh, maybe he's going to the bathroom. A couple minutes later, James. Nothing. And he's like, no, okay. I, he's, he's, like, yeah. he's like, okay, I did it. And we're like, did what? I fucking deleted the game. Fuck this game. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, I, just, I straight deleted it. Fuck this game. Never playing it again. What a waste of fucking $40. <laughs> yeah, like, what a waste of $40 <laughs> is right. Oh, I was like, geez. I was like, what, what if we want to play the other modes? And he was like, what if we want to play difficult, more difficult modes? And he was like, you guys can fuck yourself then. If some... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are my exact words. Yeah. Go, you can go fuck yourself then. <laughs> and he was like, if some reason down the road... We we decided we want to play it again. I'll consider re-downloading it, but I highly doubt it. And I was yeah. like, "Geez, <laughs> I will I will put it into consideration. <laughs> I will think about it." But there is more to do. So for those who do want to play it, like obviously, yeah, there's only the four levels. Um, but if you do want to unlock every single character, you want to unlock every single um achievement, Hellraiser, the different. I don't know what you even call those categories, like of perks. Perks or you could level. be. Yeah, per uh, abil- skills, skills. Skills. There, there you go. go. Yeah, it, skill tree. Yeah, there's like there's like seven different skill trees. Like I said, there's gun rate. There's like uh, gunslayer. Uh, um, there's a medic. There's a fixer. There's a bunch of different things that have different um, elements to it. Like obviously, medic. You can heal yourself tw- fifty times faster if you're a medic and you unlock everything. What was your mm. final one, James? It was. Oh, I don't even remember. I don't remember, but there's something stupid. Like, there's some that if everyone's knocked down and you're this skill set, you automatically get back up and you become invisible. That's what yours was. Yeah. Uh. You become fucking straight invisible for a few seconds. Yeah, it was like 20. You become invisible for like 20 seconds to kind of give you like an edge to get your teammates back up. But you got got to play the game for however long amount of time to unlock that last skill set. And I don't think you can buy it. And save up the money, too. Because the skills and stuff co- cost money. Yeah, and then I will say the multiplayer mode was fun because you yeah, had. Yeah, I did enjoy the multiplayer. So you have yeah. the you have the battle royal Call of Duty style five on five, but you have the element of hordes of zombies coming at you at the same time. 
So yeah, that 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 it, at, that it added a different element to it, which was kind of cool. Yeah. So I'm interested the, to see what they do in the future with this game yeah. if they add more modes or what. The hordes of zombies was cool for like the first three or four set pieces, and then after that, it just became please end. Yep. <laughs> I'm done with this. I am tired. Dude, there's some missions though. Like you look over the mountains, like it counts down. Oh, it's it's impressive. Some um, of the stuff is just straight impressive. Oh yeah, you look over it looks the hills. Like fucking ants. Yeah, you look over the hills, and all of a sudden you see the mountain range just be getting covered. Turn, turn black. Yeah, and it, and, it, and it gives you a time limit. Like you have this amount of time to beat the horde that's in front of you and escape before this horde comes and gets you. Yeah. Because what was the one? Uh, it was the car we had to was, fix. Yeah. Like. Was like, it? Was it the car of Jerusalem? I don't remember which one it was, but it was we had to you had to protect the dude. You had to get the car parts, give him the car parts. Oh yeah. And you had to do it w within that like was a, Jerusalem, yeah. Yeah, you had to do it with like in two minutes, and you still had zombies coming at you because if you didn't, on the horizon there's this huge mountain range that there's thousands and thousands of zombies are just running at you. <laughs> and then the close, and then the closer you got to, the closer you got to the zero time limit. The zombies were building a wall to get up yeah. to get to you, so they started coming. Luckily, uh, we luckily we beat it in time, so we didn't witness the second uh, time. Yeah, the second time. I thought no, was that or was no the, three? The first time. The oh, it might have been the third time. Yeah. No, the, first, the second time because the first time we got fucking got. Yeah. And then the second time we were like, okay, guys, this is how we play. Yep. So, but it was they. But you look over the range, and it's just like you just see like it's it's freaky looking almost. It really is. Um, it's like, holy shit, this is fucking insane. Um, yeah. but yeah, the gra graphically wise, obviously it could have been, it could have been improvement, but it still was phenomenal. It's, it's a $40 game on the PlayStation and yep. Xbox. I mean, it's, it's, it's a budget title. Yeah. So, I mean, this game was probably, you know, made by a small team. Oh, one thing I did learn too, uh, speaking of small teams, this is completely off topic. Um, the people that made, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Days Gone, Ben Studios, mm -hmm. uh, they made one of the worst games ever made, Bubsy 3D. Bubsy 3D? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bubsy? yeah, yeah, they made that game. I didn't know that. I guess it's a good yeah. comeback story. <laughs> Bro, amazing comeback story. Yeah. We'll see how it does financially. <laughs> yeah. Probably great. It's a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, it will. Sony's it, almost sold 100 million PlayStation 4s. Their their sales have gone up since the announcement of the PS5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, um, uh, yep. their stock and everything is up because of that, which is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Um, But no, it was obviously different opinions, things along those lines. But if you like the Left 4 Dead games, mm -hmm. you'll like this game. Um, it's your, it's your typical zombie slayer. You don't have to worry about aiming. Just fucking go out there and level bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a generic zombie shoot game. It's my kind of game. Um, Speaking of generic zombie shoot games, Marvel's The Avengers. Bump bum. Yeah, so end, over end game. Yeah, so over the weekend, uh, a mediocre title released. Yeah, a pretty a pretty all right yeah. movie came out. Uh, it didn't really do well in the box office, to be honest with you. I mean, it's no, it didn't. It only it's uh, very obscure. It did. So, uh, Marvel's The End Game. Yeah, it didn't do very well. It only did a, a quick uh, one point two hundred and no. Well, yeah, it's at over one billion now. Yeah, one point two billion dollars. First <laughs> movie in history <laughs> to do over a billion dollars in opening weekend. Yep. And that is pretty crazy. <laughs> Miller just calls me a zombie hater. <laughs> so um, far, it has broken 144 box office records. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to think, just on Thursday alone, so half of the day Thursday, they did $60 million. Yep. Uh, yeah, $60 million. Uh, Friday, $156 million. Saturday, uh, 110 Sunday, $90 million. Which is absolutely insane, grossing United States domestically three hundred and fifty million dollars, beating the old record set by Infinity Wars at two hundred and fifty-four million. Sorry, three hundred and fifty yeah. million is what they did. A hundred more million than uh, the second place. Globally, yeah. 
it did 860 million, smashing the box office success of Infinity Fate and the Fear. No, Fate and the Fury. Oh, oh wow. Holy shit. Fate and the Furious is popular overseas. Wow. Okay. Um Sorry. Yeah, so... Fate and the Furious, sorry. Um yeah, Fate and the Furious uh globally did uh Fate and the Furious. Fast and the Furious seven. The seventh movie. Uh, it Man, did... they should've, that should have been the eighth no, movie, eight. so then they could do. It okay. was eight. It so was they eight. Should have done fate, like F, and then the number eight. There you go. Of the Furious. <laughs> yeah, number number eight for some Furious. reason was uh, non United States had the record, which is a weird movie to hold the record globally. Yeah, that is very weird. Um, it did four hundred and forty three million dollars globally, not including the United States, um, which was number one. Which is a strange movie to have that category, but hey, why not? Yeah, I know. I heard that on the news, or like yeah. somebody was talking about it on the radio, and I was like, "Really? Um, it's crazy that that movie had such a." Yeah, Avengers Endgame did four hundred million dollars more, eight hundred and sixty wow. million combined total, one point two billion dollars in four days. That's crazy. <laughs> Which is insane. That's so many dollars. Insane. It was probably won't do spoilers because Schroeder hasn't seen it. I was I was gonna say, are we doing spoilers or no? Well, a lot of no. the audience probably hasn't seen it either. Yeah, yeah so we'll, we'll hold off on the spoilers. But um, some of the um, stuff that it did, so it broke twelve advanced ticket sales. It broke forty four opening, uh, twenty nine single day, the highest IMAX and three D ever. Uh, it broke 50 IMAX box office records, fastest to a million, fastest to a billion, largest Thursday, largest Friday, largest Saturday, and largest Sunday, um, largest uh, per screen, um, largest combined domestic, uh, largest overseas, and largest global. Um, if it keeps wow. this pace, it has a chance to beat uh, Avatar. Which no wow. movie has ever come close wow. to doing so. Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah. So no movie has ever come close to doing so, except for Titanic, um, yeah. and uh, Star oh. Wars Episode uh, Seven did did two billion. That was the only only other movie to do two billion dollars was Star Wars wow. Episode Seven, um, Titanic, and Avatar, and uh, it's gonna be uh, interesting to see the to see what happens. Um, yeah. With uh, with the thing. So without spoiling anything, James, what was your take on the movie? They made a fantastic movie, just a good one. Wait. It had every potential to become a fantastic, the best Marvel movie ever. And with the the few things, like the few things in my mind that I really didn't like, it knocked it down to just a good movie. You That's went. my hot take. Absolutely insane, sir. Um, it's, it's my hot take. You... I, I, I want to know what those are, but I don't. I don't know if they would spoil anything. So, <sighs> yeah, no, no. If they would have cut the movie down to about an hour, if they would have cut it down an hour, got rid of that fight scene, it would have been great. But ha but how fight. do you do that though? You can't. You can't. Really... I will tell you. <laughs> After the podcast, good sir, and you will <laughs> see how good it would an idea it would be. Because I was sitting in the fucking theater for four goddamn hours. <laughs> a long movie. Once yeah. it hit the two hour mark in the movie, I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm clocked out. I wasn't though. I didn't. I didn't really think about the time. My knee was bothering me. Well, my I, I... hip was bothering me. I'm like, uh, there's my some hip. fucking. There were fucking kids in the front row screaming. I did have a headache because and I. They were giving that shit. I did make a mistake. I so down here we have what's called um, XD slash oh, lu yeah. luxury seating theaters, yeah. um, and so I'm like, okay, it'd be kind of cool to go see an XD screen. It's, tw it's like, thirty five percent bigger than your average screen. Uh, it's got seventy trillion colors. Um, the screen looked phenomenal, and the lux and the and the luxury seating. You actually lounge. You put your feet up. You lean back. And it's beautiful. Hmm. Um, okay. Unfortunately, the seats were kind of weird. Um, 
I couldn't, uh, the, you don't lean back very far, and it's super cushiony, so it kind of, like, makes your head kind of sit forward, so it gave me a headache. Um, but it wasn't horrible, it's still super fucking comfy seats. Um, still, so I, I liked it, but, uh, um, no, for myself, yeah, I, I didn't even, I didn't recognize it at the time, I really didn't, um, I thought it was phenomenal, the storytelling, um, and it, it, even in that fight scene, though, when Captain America did the thing oh, with the whoa, thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, I marked out thing. pretty hard for that. Yo, me too. And, and when that one person came out and was like, <laughs> I'm going to beat you. Yeah. And just got, you know, started, you know, fisticuffing yeah. someone. <laughs> I marked out. And then that person got wrecked. Dude, and I'm like, well, they fucked it. <laughs> when, um, when Captain America did his thing at that scene, um... I I, I I made a mistake. So I went to a, I went to a 11 a.m. showing. So there was a lot of young kids there and with their parents. So a lot of them At probably 11 like, a.m.? Yeah, I don't know why. It was fucking weird. So so there wasn't much – there wasn't many kids there. So the reaction was kind of like, oh, I guarantee for 100% fact if I was at the midnight showing of the movie, that crowd was going fucking insane. <laughs> um, that, that, you know, I know for a fact that crowd was cheering. They were like, wow, uh, there's probably a lot of scenes like midnight showings are just, especially for these movies, they're over the top. Um, people yeah. clapping and stuff. Mine, right, did, course, mine didn't really have that, unfortunately, but, um, I, I, I cause I was like one of the mine few people, times. Mine, I was one of the few people that was like, ah! and so I, I clapped, but I couldn't be as loud as I wanted to be cause there was no one else there with me unfortunately um but uh it was good though i am uh i loved it it was i i thought the story was very well told especially leading up to the the final scene of the movie the final long long scene mm -hmm. um that was written perfectly um i was i was worried when they did the thing with with the groups yeah how that was going to play I, out with the stories and all the characters. Yes, I was worried it was going to be impossible to follow. Yeah. But by God, did they make it? They made it good. Oh, they did. There's so many people. They had. They had. A, they had to make it work with every character that you've ever seen in a Marvel movie so far was in this movie. Um, mm -hmm. every single one. Um, which the majority of them were in the last one too, but, um. This to this time, even on a bigger scale, because you didn't have your Captain Marvel, your Ant Man, your Hawkeye. They weren't they weren't in Infinity Wars, um, which isn't a spoiler because Infinity Wars has been out for a year. So if you didn't know that, then shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't well, feel bad for saying that. But... Um, it there were times in that movie, like the the big thing that I can compliment that movie are there's there's two things that. I may shit all over the movie till till the cows come home, but there are two things that I will respect the shit out of. One, that cinematography, man. Oh yeah. Is absolutely breathtaking at times. Oh, hundred percent. You can't even tell that you CGI like in any of it. Yeah. It Unreal. was beautifully shot. Oh yeah. And it really showed a lot of like how grandiose a lot of the stuff was and two well okay three things the second thing is the acting was fantastic oh 100 percent. especially from uh chris uh was it helmsworth uh thor yeah that was he, he was phenomenal he was phenomenal <laughs> yeah, thor and was then, great uh was it dross brolin that does thanos yep or just uh, yeah yeah he did fantastic. Oh yeah, in that role. No, he it's that it's just insane. Uh, well, even Chris Evans when uh, Captain yeah. America when uh, they go to get the thing and he uh, ends up coming face to face with. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and he was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> yeah. So the acting was phenomenal. Yeah. the The cinematography was incredible, but. And it's got it's not going to win one goddamn thing in any of the movies the the movie awards except for like Probably except not. for like the MTV um movies or whatever the fuck it's called it's not going to yeah. win a Golden Globe it's not going to win an Oscar it's going to win nothing.
because they never do. No, they don't. Well, no, they do have visual effects. Yeah. Um. They'll it usually wins that, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna be best picture. It's not gonna be any of that shit. Oh, not by a far. Not by a long shot. Not the by a long shot. The only reason why Heath Ledger won best actor that year was because he died. Um, where the Joker. Uh, he did a pretty decent job as the Joker. Well, no, he was phenomenal, but in in reality, he would never have been considered. Oh, probably not. If he wouldn't have well, passed I away. I don't know. The Christopher Nolan Batman movies were pretty highly guarded by cinema cinema aficionados. Yeah, but it's not like, so much the Marvel movies. No. Um, ah, Black Panther last year was. But, but in my opinion, the best part of that movie was the score. Oh, the yeah. The soundtrack fit perfectly with everything going on there were times during the movie i just closed my eyes and just listened to the soundtrack really i was just so enthralled by the soundtrack and how beautiful and how it managed to give at the same time for one piece of work hope and sadness yep at the same time by using these instruments oh yeah like it is a marvel no pun intended <laughs> that but yeah no it, i agree it's it, it's giving me goosebumps just thinking about the score right now because of how good it was that yeah. soundtrack i will buy that on on cd if it's available well they say that a great portion of a film is you know it's the music yeah, even on YouTube, you can have yeah. kind of okay video, but as long as your music is good, you're okay. Yeah, it's you an have audio video visual. And terrible music and nah, or too, terrible no. audio, and you're like, no. <laughs> but no, it's overall, it was by far one of the best movies I've ever I've ever seen. Um, like I said, the story was so well written that you have this very short amount of time to tell a story of how they bring this universe together, back together, not back together, however you want to take it. Um, and individual stories of 12 to 25 characters, they have to tell in a three hour movie. Um, right. And they pull it yeah. off. They did. Uh, the, the ending was great. Oh, that's phenomenal. Um, and like I said, the it epilogue, leads, I should it, say. It leads into, obviously, the next generation. Fun oh, fact, yeah. uh, Endgame is not the conclusion of Phase 3. Spider-Man no. um, Far From Home is the conclusion yes. of uh, uh, this phase. This, 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 I don't even know what you call it. This saga of Avengers movies. This arc. Yeah, Spider-Man uh, Far From Home, um, which Spider-Man 2 is the, the end of this arc of this uh this chapter of avengers that movie obviously i'm assuming will have end credit scenes which this movie did not um because you don't you don't need it um and uh that's not a spoiler you can go online and research it by the way um and uh this movie uh, i'm assuming spider-man will because that will then lead into the next franchise the next series and i was telling schroeder that's the reason why marvel bought Disney mm -hmm. bought Fox because yeah. the one key piece that they were missing in the Infinity Wars, the Civil War, was... Is the Fantastic Four. Yep. And all the X-Men. Yeah, Fantastic Four just themselves. No, well, the, the X-Men in general. Um, yeah. And now that they really own them... Do this, you really do this. Okay, so the Civil War movie that we got is not the actual Civil War. Not even close. Not even close. It's there's it's, more characters in that than Infinity Wars, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, and they th the Civil War was the the X Men had such a huge part in the Civil War comic mm -hmm. that this is a complete different thing that I wouldn't even call Civil War. Um, Wolverine played a huge part in it. He was just as big as uh, Captain America and um, Iron Man. Uh, Wolverine and the Fantastic no. Four were. No, he's way more. Yeah, that's true. You gotta think, like, Iron Man is a C-tier hero. <sighs> yeah. When it comes to the comic books. 
Like he is not even B tier. He is he is on the practice squad when it comes to like relevancy. It wasn't until these movies that propelled him to yeah. even things higher than Spider Man. Yep. So, uh, I mean, I was thinking about it a lot, you know, these past few days with. Well, these past this past day, really, um, kind of reflecting on that movie, um, and it's it's after the hype wore down because originally I was like that was really good. Mm-hmm. After the initial hype wore down of watching it and being in that atmosphere, it's and I started thinking about everything that happened. I'm like, this is an okay movie. This is a good movie. It is a solid seven out of ten, seven and a half out of ten. You just pissed out the world off. <laughs> I don't care. I don't really care at all. Yeah, that's your that's your review. I I, I accept yeah. it. I'm just saying that's. Just... I don't think. <laughs> Not saying, but just saying. <laughs> Not saying, but just saying. Right Go fuck yourself. You're wrong. Pretty much. Yeah. No. It's... The whole world hates you now. It you just it's... alienated like the vast majority of the people that watch the show. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much um no it's the hype the hype can affect a lot of things it can and i think one of the big things is you know it was a perfect end to this saga to these these how long has it been like what seven years six years eight years eight years Eight years. It was the perfect bookend to this to these eight years. No more than that. Because even though Spider Man Far From Home is technically the end of phase three, no, they're fucking wrong. Avengers Endgame is the real ending. Get out of uh, here. Spider Man Far From Home ten is an years, option. Eleven years. Iron Man came 11 out eleven years. Iron Man came out in July two thousand eight. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yep. Yeah, so this I think this was the perfect bookend to the series to to this this generation yep and obviously Um, it's going to lead more because you still have all the movies that don't have three and then now that they are able to incorporate the x-men that's just going to unlock a whole new uh that's just i'm excited for that that's just going to unlock a whole new world um and i'm assuming the guardians of the galaxy will be the headliners of this new movie because they're going to be the first one with a trilogy mm-hmm. out of all the other movies because you would think I love those movies those yeah they're so, really good um, they're like some of my favorites. the Guardians of the Galaxy oh, now that they have the first trilogy that they I feel that you kind of have to make them the headliner I guess you don't really Wait, have to but what do you mean by what do you mean by trilogy the, the, yeah, they're, the... they're gonna be the first one out of this next fr- series to have a three movies Captain America Iron Man Thor all had three movies no one else has yet. Oh, okay. Other than other than those guys, yeah. Yeah, the only ones that have three movies was Iron Man, Captain America, yeah. Thor, the Avengers. Everyone else has had two the or Avengers three. Everyone else has had one or two. Yeah. Spider Man will have two. He'll be the he'll be the next one. Ant Man just had two. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the first person so, to mean... have three will be Guardians of the Galaxy. Still um, haven't had a standalone Hulk movie. That's not going to happen. They, they, they even said that's not going to happen. You can't. It's too hard. Um, well, they, it's, they, it's they... not that people. It's not a character people gravitate to. That's the problem. The only reason why the one Hulk with uh, um, whatever his name is did good because there was a cameo of Iron Man in the movie, and it was in the, that, that that was a vocal point of the trailer. When they showed Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man in the, um, hey guys, uh, in the trailer for the Incredible Hulk. Hey guys, I'm, a, I'm Robert Downey Jr. He was only in it for like ten seconds. <laughs> but, oh, but he probably made a bajillion dollars. Yeah, but yeah, they they even said that the Hulk is too, it's too, uh, it's too hard to make because it's not a character no. that people like. No, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, Ant Man. <laughs> Ant Man did a, uh, Ant Man did a ton of money. The second movie, it did. Yeah, exactly. But do you know? Did you know who Ant Man was before the movies? No. Did you know Iron Man before the movies? I heard the name. Yeah. 
Exactly. Did you know of the Guardians of the fucking Galaxy before the movies? No. <laughs> and it's not even the first Guardians of the Galaxies either. <laughs> this is a different rendition of the Guardians of the Galaxies. That's true. Um, <laughs> so yeah. don't give me that shit. All right? <laughs> they take these no-name motherfuckers, these no-name superheroes, and they just elevate them. They could do it with... um. Uh, let's see here. Let me just try to throw one out there. What? Why don't they do Ghost Rider again? Good. I'm um, sure they could elevate Ghost Rider or something. Disney Plus, though, this movie is gonna be brand. That uh, Disney Plus is gonna have TV shows that branch off this movie. Um, good. One's sure, called uh, Wanda Vision. It's a Wanda Sykes oh, and yeah. Vision, uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision. It's gonna be her show. Um, that would be cool. That would uh, be really cool. Hawkeye is getting his own. Um, I love Hawkeye. Rowan. Rowan. What's his assassin name? Rowan. Rowan. Rowan, yeah. It's it's based off that. Um, oh, I love that. So um, he's getting his own one. The Scarlet Witch is getting her own. And there's like... getting the one where the Punisher literally kills the entire Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Punisher, all of them. Deadpool. Um, th th no, he, because he kill the Punisher too? killed Deadpool. No. Oh. He but, killed uh, everyone. Yeah, so uh everyone. And uh Agent of the Shield, I guess, <laughs> is gonna be uh the next uh it's also gonna be played along with this. I guess the last episode that oh, yeah. aired of Agents of the Shield yesterday. Um if it was yesterday, I don't remember what it was. Um incorporated the snap the snapping. Yeah. Well that's that's what they really should have done with a lot of the other like Marvel T V shows is incorporate it more to the MCU. Yeah. Instead of it being their own like, you know So offshoot thing. But yeah, they it's gonna be it's, this movie's gonna play big into the into the Disney Plus um mm -hmm. piece, which which is a good idea. So it's their biggest cash cow. Oh yeah. So question for movies that can beat this. Nothing. Um Obviously, nothing in the near future, but one movie that comes out the end of the year: Star Wars Episode Nine, the end of this star, the end of the Skywalker saga. Will it be on par or do close to this? No, there's already too much bad blood. There's way too much bad blood between yeah, Disney I don't and, know, man. and Star Wars fans. You don't think they can yeah. read? Re you don't think it can have the magic as number seven did? Number seven broke every single record. People, people like number seven because it was the first Star Wars movie in a while that you know in a long while. You know, you had you had Episode three. Or do you think? Or do you think number uh, eight ruined it too much for people? Eight, 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 and Solo ruined it way too much for everyone. The, you, you wouldn't see this maybe as like a, as like a, not not a rejuvenation of what it's called a redemption, because J.J. Abrams is is doing it again. And he's retconning a bunch of shit. I mean, I'll see it. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to see it. But do you think it'll... I don't think that it's going to ever eclipse this. Do you think it can it could reach? Because they never thought 300 million on the opening weekend in the United States would ever happen. And obviously the Avengers beat it by 50 million to 350 million. Mm -hmm. Do you think Star Wars can at least hit that 300 million? That'll probably... Oh, yeah. It's going to be a huge money maker for them. Oh, it's it's, it's going to make a huge profit. But is it going to reach the level of success that Marvel's, you know, I that that the end game did? No, it's not going to. I don't think at least. Uh the only thing that I can imagine, yeah, you snort that cocaine. I am. I can't breathe. <laughs> that, yeah. I can never breathe through my nose. That's why I breathe through my mouth. Um the only thing that I can see coming, you know, if, let's say, and I, I there's part of me that bet it will happen, bets, bets it will happen, but let's say Marvel's, let's say Endgame beats Avatar, mm -hmm. okay? Let's say it eclipses that elusive number. I think there's only one movie that could ever beat it. Avatar 2? <laughs> Exactly, Avatar two. Maybe, but it, has it been too long since the original Avatar? Though it's been a freaking eleven years. 
Well, has it been, was it too long for, uh, between Star Wars episode, uh, what is it, six and episode one? Yeah, that's true. You know, so. <coughs> that is very true. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go okay. to, I'm going to see something here really quick. All Sh time. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, I, I just want to get the, the all time grossing of um avatar 200 2.7 billion dollars is what avatar did wow um the next is that worldwide worldwide yeah, um yeah 2.7 billion titanic did 2.1 billion and that's incredible thinking of when it came out yeah and yeah. star wars did 2 2 billion um and infinity wars uh, also did two billion, um, so seven hundred, almost eight hundred million dollars off the mark was the Infinity Wars, as well as Star Wars: The Force Awakens. So that's a yeah. huge, huge goal that it has. Is oh. is is Endgame going to beat Infinity War? Just throwing it out there, Endgame's already the eighteenth highest grossing movie of all time. Yeah, <laughs> in four days. In four days. 18, 18th highest grossing movie of all time in four days. Jesus. Insane. Absolutely insane. And it's on yep. par with um, what Avatar was. So 72% of Avatar's gross came from overseas. 72%, 71% of Endgame is overseas. Yep. And then 27 and 28. So it's close. I mean, we, yeah, got a long, we'll we got a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. But... It's still in the theaters for another, you know, like two months. Yep. Two, three months. So. Yeah, we'll, we shall see what happens mm -hmm. there. But it, it, it's a huge fleet. But they say, obviously, if it can maintain its momentum, it could. But is the chance is likely? Who knows? It'll definitely hit the yeah. two billion mark. Yeah. But can it, it overtake Avatar? It's, that's, a, that's a long that's, ways that's, away. Yeah, that, it, is, it is very, very hard. I don't think it's going to. Perfect. So that's uh, that's Endgame. I say we do a review in about a month. Actually, talk about it. Talk about it. In about and a talk month about from now. Talk about spoilers in about about a month. Okay. Yeah. We'll so I'll have there. to go see it again. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> so right. uh, segueing uh... the entire fucking day for <laughs> Endgame. So segueing, 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 right. nutting. Nut, 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 nut weighing. Not nutting our way into news. Uh, what do you got, James? All right. So, y'all motherfuckers ain't weebs like me. So, this is for me. And for the weeb fans out there. <laughs> so, Persona 5 Royale. Or per Persona 5 Royal. Uh, it got a release date. Sort of. Uh, it's coming out in Japan later this year, and it's coming out in America in 2020, so next year. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the new Persona game, Persona 5, uh, kind of their golden edition. Uh, Going to add another character to it. Hopefully it's not as bad as Persona 4 Golden's character. That was pretty trash garbo. Uh, that's pretty neato. Um, they also showed off. Persona had like a little event. Atlas had a little event. Uh, over the past weekend, um, or over the past week, uh, talking about some new Persona games. So they gave the, the Western release for Persona 5 Royal. They also talked about Persona 5S, P5, P5S. So everyone was thinking that it was a Switch port. I mean, fuck, we even talked about how Best Buy leaked it, uh, Persona 5 on the Switch. Uh, turns out it's not. So... Persona 5 at P5S is called Persona 5 Scramble. And it's made by Omega Force and Tecmo Koei. It's a fucking Dynasty Warriors ripoff. I am marking out so hard for it. <laughs> I can run around as my favorite characters from Persona, just Persona! And just ruining a bunch of bunch of uh people. That's gonna be fantastic. Uh, that is coming out on the PlayStation 4 sometime. No release date has been confirmed for Japan. 
and no re- news has been released on if it's coming to the U.S. But it, with how popular Persona Five was, it's definitely going to get a U.S. release date. Uh, it's just a matter of when, not if. Uh, okay, so let's see here. I'm getting notifications from Steam. Me too. That Marcus, Marcus playing shit. <laughs> yeah, I got the same one. He must be working on the server. He must be working on the server. Uh, then, so, so Jeff, was it last week or the week before that we talked about the smaller uh, new Nintendo Switch model? I can't remember if it was last week or when we did the podcast, when we did this, the, the podcast together. Um, The smaller Switch model? I think that was last week. Okay, so we got a little bit more news about it. Okay. Uh, rumor has it, according to the rumor mill. The rumor it's, mill? It's, there's a cheaper Nintendo Switch model coming out in June. Hmm. That's most likely going to be the smaller... Uh, more handheld focused Nintendo Switch. Um, what do you, okay? So the Nintendo Switch right now is three hundred, correct? Yes. Yeah. What What do you think, Jeff? What do you think the uh, since Walker isn't here? What do you think the like a good price point for this smaller Nintendo Switch would be? What do you think? Probably two hundred bucks, so, somewhere around there. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking right around two hundred, because that would that would kind of play in line with like the price of like what the three DS was when that first came out, right? Because that was right around two hundred bucks, especially like the new three DS was right around the uh, was right around uh, uh, two hundred when that came out, and I think you could still get like I still think like a new Nintendo three DS is like uh, one fifty mm. or something like that. So. I think that will that will spark some sales for Nintendo, some extra sales. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Uh, speaking of Nintendo Switch, Super Mario Maker Two has a release date now. Uh, that is coming out June twenty eighth. So let's get our uh, let's get our like speculation hats on here. Do you think that the it is going to be a pack and title with the smaller Nintendo Switch. Because they say that this is coming out in June as well. The the smaller Nintendo Switch. Like they might give it to you? They, maybe. That would be neat. That would be. Because they, they really still don't have like a Switch bundle yet. I would, I would say so because then that gives people incentive to buy the new Switch. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Mm. Speaking of uh, uh, Mario, oh, go go, no, go ahead. What are you saying, James? Oh no, go ahead. It wasn't about Mario. Oh, speaking of Mario, uh, Mario Kart uh, right now for uh, oh, Android oh. phones. Oh yeah, the beta's yeah. live. Yep. Uh, you have to you I, sign up. Do you actually so, sign up for it, or do you just download it? No, nope, you got to sign up. So I tried signing up for that, and hopefully I would get the get the inside scoop when that would come out. Um, um, it's Mario Kart Tour dot com. Yeah, um, I tried to do that, but my Nintendo account is not linked up to my Gmail account, which it has to be. I tried switching my email to my Gmail, but Nintendo never sent me the email for, hey, here's the confirmation to do that. Of course. So, uh... Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Nintendo. Um, here's something for you, Walker. World War Z. It's been selling like fucking hotcakes. Yep. It has already sold um, over a million copies. Everyone's cra- everyone's craving their, uh, their Left 4 Dead uh... fix. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Everyone's yeah, craving it's... their Left 4 Dead fix. Yeah, well, I mean, good for them. You know, that's, like, I may not like the game, but good for the studio. Speaking yeah. of Left 4 Dead, though, the creators released uh, 28 pictures of what Left 4 Dead 3 was going to look like. Yeah, supposedly, but they've been doing that for years. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Same thing with okay. like the Half Life stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we got news on Halo Infinite, the new Ooh. Halo game. Um, 
According to 343 Industries, the company behind Halo, the last few Halo games, there will be no Battle Royale mode! My god, how is it going to succeed? <laughs> how will the new Halo game succeed if it doesn't have a Battle Royale mode? They feel that it just by the the sole name, it'll survive but by itself. How, how will it get popular with the kids? What Ninja definitely will not play this, so how is it going to be popular? They're, I, I think they're banking on the name. No, Just maybe Halo. they're banking on actually making a good fucking game. Oh, yeah, too, but I'm saying, but, like, getting the people back to it, away yeah. from the, the Battle Royale side of it, by just, okay, Halo, this is the next generation. It's Halo. It's, it's Halo. It's Halo. You don't need anything else. Just like Call Halo of Duty, just like, um, supposedly the next Call of Duty won't have a Battle Royale either, but it'll still sell because it's Call of Duty. Probably won't sell well, though. Probably not. Call of Duty has been tanking in sales recently. Oh, yeah. Have they? Oh, yeah. Well, it's... AE and Activision in general. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's no longer their big cash cow. Uh-oh. Um, let's see here. Guys, let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's raise our glasses a little bit. Let's Let's raise our drinks up into the air. I don't have a drink, so I'll raise my piece of steak. Okay. I have a big thing of water. Oh, yeah. I have that. There you go. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you got the same fucking thing. <laughs> and let's let's pour a 40 out for our good friend, the Nintendo Wii U. Dead. Let's pour a 40 out for the Wii U. It has been officially taking off the top bar on Nintendo's website. Really? Officially gone. It is dead years after it should have been. <laughs> years after it should have been gone, they finally got rid of that bastard. It's probably because oh, uh, Super Smash Bros. No, it's probably because they want to forget it. No, I'm saying they probably the reason why it probably lasted so long was because Super Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, no, it yeah, it's definitely that. Um, speaking of Nintendo... They had an earnings report earlier. I guess I should have lumped this all together with the Switch stuff. <laughs> but uh, they had an earnings report recently. Okay. And they talked about the first-party games and their sales records, uh, how much they've sold. So let's take a quick look from our good buddies at GameSpot that's going to immediately play an ad that has sound on it because they don't like you. <laughs> oh, it's already muted. Cool. Okay, so let's take a look here. As of March 31st, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has sold more than 13.81 million units. Wow. I can see that. To put it into perspective here, uh, hold on. To put it into perspective, uh, the Nintendo Wii U Wii U sales. The Nintendo Wii U sold 13.5 million units. So the game has sold as much as the console. <laughs> More than the console. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, a little bit. Just a little bit of wows. Um, and that's only since December. So what, that's four months. And it already sold more than an entire system from Nintendo. Yeah. Um, that game, man, though, that's probably one of the best, greatest games of all time, that, that series of games. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the next highest selling game is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, hmm. which has sold 10.63 million copies combined. To put that into perspective, the latest mainline Pokemon game, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, only sold 
0.37 million units. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Super Mario Party has surpassed 6 million copies. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which released in January, has sold 3.31 million, which puts it above the standalone Wii U version, Super Mario Luigi U, by roughly 2 million units. Or, and 2 million units shy of new Super Mario Bros. U lifetime sales. That's wild. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has sold uh, 7.47 million units uh, in the past fiscal year, bringing up the lifetime Switch sales to 16.69 million units. That's a lot, man. Insane. Let's see here. What else? Uh, Nintendo had a 12.7% year-to-year increase. Uh, they also had uh, some other things saying uh, the consoles. Uh, they have gone. They have gone through 34.74 million switches. Jeez. Fiscal year. Yeah. So they haven't uh, really said. Oh, uh, they did say uh, about the Nintendo Switch uh, online service. Uh, it has some pretty good, uh, I think it has, like, 5 million subscribers or something like that. Most of which is because of Tetris 99. <laughs> That's wild. But Nintendo is killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. Oh, yeah. And it's great, you know, after how badly the Wii U bombed, after how badly much of a disappointment that was it's good to see them finally back on their feet the the only true gaming company left oh yeah back on their feet um let's see here we did that we did that we did that oh and then finally the last thing that i have on the docket do you guys like memes yeah who doesn't like memes do you like Spongebob memes? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. Well, Nickelodeon is trying to cash in on your love for memes <laughs> by releasing Spongebob meme figures. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. So, you can get Spongebob going imagination or, uh, the Neanderthal Spongebob screaming and other <laughs> all of your favorite meme templates that's amazing. now on Amazon that's phenomenal so, uh, fuck it why not <laughs> fuck it let's just say it right now fuck it I don't that's even hilarious. care anymore I really don't care <laughs> I just I saw that and I'm like this has to be in this has to be oh, on yeah. the docket. Um, for me, I got a, for me. I got a couple things. So, uh, Birth of the Wild VR um is getting horrible reviews. Oh yeah. Um, everyone says it's super uncomfortable, awkward, and just it, it's not good. It's strange. Um, because it's third it's third person. So you're essentially watching, like we said the other the other one. It's you're watching your switch, just in front of your face. You're not you're not the character. Um, I'm not gonna say the name because James will get mad. Cause I probably messed it up, so. Well, who who do you play as? <laughs> Link. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm reading it. That's why I said it. And um, it's you just it's just Zelda. I was, and it's just awkward. I'm playing as the Majora. And people are people aren't happy, and they said the same thing with uh, Odyssey. It's just it's just awkward playing. Um, going into uh, uh, Madden. Uh, it's kind of a, a left turn from what we usually talk about. Uh, the cover star yeah, is, is uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. For those who didn't know, he's the the wide receiver of the Steelers. No, it's um, not. Yeah, Juju Smith-Schuster. No, it's not. Yeah, he's the cover. No, it's, no, never uh, mind. It's what? um, it's Kyle. It's, what's uh, his name? It's the dude Mahoney? from um, 
Yeah, Kansas sorry. City. Yeah, my bad. I don't know. I was why gonna I was... say, I was like, the fuck? Never mind. Patrick Mahomes. No nah, man. Juju Smith Juder's too much of a weeb. Yeah, never mind. Uh Patrick Mahomes is the the cover of Madden twenty. Sorry, I don't know why I said Juju Smith Schuster. He was considered. He was number two, but they ended yeah. up not going with him. He's too much of a weeb to be on the cover. Um, because it would have uh, to be Kawhi as fuck. Yeah. So August 2nd is when uh, the next Madden releases, Madden 20. Uh, Fortnite came out with a cool update um, to go with uh, Avengers. Um, they actually released the mode. It was, uh, I don't know if you guys remember hearing about it last year, where they incorporated Thanos, Thanos into the game, where you actually got Thanos. Um, his gauntlet essentially fell from the sky, and then you had to converge onto it, and you became Thanos, and he was just ungodly powerful and if you got lucky enough to kill him you became thanos and um um, thanos in this mode it's uh the avengers versus thanos and his army so that'd be cool a random person becomes thanos and you're his army and you're after the six infinity stones you get the six infinity stones thanos gets stronger whoever that is and he gets more health you get all six infinity stones Thanos basically becomes unbeatable, and then that team wins. You're the Avengers. You have to go find chess, and in the chess, you play as your regular character, and you have to go locate chess. And in those chests are either Hawkeye's bow, Captain America's shield, Thor's hammers, or Iron Man's gloves. Bow, 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 and um, bow, 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 bow. you become one of them, and then you obviously have to then fight the bad guys and protect the Infinity Stones and not let them get them. So it's kind of cool. Um, and, oh, uh, here, here's something weird that I saw the other day, too. What? Uh, that's pretty newsworthy. Um, the game Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Mm-hmm. Someone already beat it with a pair of Donkey Konga bongo drums. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me that what, what the uh, Dark Souls community can do. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me. Set, dude. It is a special skill set. Something that I do not have. That's insane. Um, also, with Fortnite, uh, the World Cup is this year. And um, for those of you who don't know, um, they released soccer skins uh, last year sometime. I don't remember what it was for. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember what they released soccer skins for. But essentially, they're going to have a lot of gear and a lot of modes in commemorative of the World Cup for this year. Um, because... Is the World Cup this year? Yeah. That's what it says. Really? Or maybe it's next year. Yeah, I don't think it's next year because the Olympics is next year. Yeah, then it's this year. The World Cup's this year. Hold on. Let I'm Google. Go for it. Keep I guess that's what it says. Um, uh, Fortnite War will stabilize gameplay and release modes ahead of World Cup. Uh, it was the last World Cup. It was in 2018. Is that the That was the Women's World Cup, though. No, that was in Russia. Was that the man? I don't know. Well, that's what it says. It doesn't. So twenty twenty two will be the next World Cup. Oh well. That's probably why they released those the the soccer stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, that's true. That's why they did do it, and they're gonna re- they're gonna f- put more modes. I don't know why they were saying that now. Then I thought uh, yeah. it was more irrelevant till now. Um, Titanfall. Uh, Titanfall has been delayed and stop production because Respawn is focusing all their efforts 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 on Apex Legends season 2. Um they realize that there has been a significant decline in the likeliness of that game, but considering that 50 million people played that game at one time, they want to capitalize on that. And so they literally stopped making that game, and they said, okay, yeah. screw this. We're focusing on Apex Legends Season 2 to bring this game back oh. and bring it back to what it was and even better. Um, there is no say as to when they Give will... Give me Titanfall 3. They, there is no say I'll as to that. when um, they will actually release Titanfall 3. Um, they have no foreseeable plans in the future. Um, because as right now, all their focus is, um, is on, uh, Apex Legends. Fuck Titan, fuck Apex, give me Titanfall. So, Titanfall's so good. Um, they were predicting that maybe 21, uh, 2021, 
2022 that maybe um, as long as they can uh, mm -hmm. release uh, season two without a hitch that it goes well then they will resume production if not they will continue working on apex um, as they feel that apex is the the key to bringing back activision um uh all of that uh those companies um ea respawn yeah. entertainment um things like that so um but yeah currently apex is uh is about one fourth of what it was unfortunately fortnite came back and um took over so they said screw it we're gonna focus our efforts on this and nothing else mm -hmm. and uh you Last. can see the disappointment on my face. Um, <laughs> two more things I have. This is more so for me than you guys. But um, Hey, I had a whole Persona segment, so. That's true. Uh, Cox Internet. Um, it's what I have. Uh, they, oh, uh, I heard about this. They are releasing um, what is called the Elite Gamer Internet. Um, it is actually called Elite Gamer. And what it's supposed to do... It is supposed to reduce lag by 34%, jittering by 44%, and latency by 55%. Um, you have to at least have 100 megs or higher, and then you can purchase this for 15 extra dollars a month. What it doesn't do, it does not increase your speed, it does not prioritize internet traffic, it doesn't use different internet equipment, and it doesn't change how your network is. You use your same your same router, same everything. But what it's supposed so what what you're saying is it won't do anything. And that's essentially the reviews. But supposedly it'll take the messy internet world, and it'll directly pinpoint the computers that you submit to Cox, verifying the computer, and it'll make more or less streamline. The server through the through your router through your modem through the coax, not coax through the Ethernet directly to that because how Internet works it comes in on channels so you get a modem that's a 36 channel modem you have Internet coming in through all over the place supposedly this takes all of those and narrows it to one channel for each computer but you have to register the computers and you can only register two computers if you want more computers it's five dollars extra a month. That's the <laughs> stupidest fucking thing. Um, That's the most snake oil fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. So, supposedly, it'll result in physically shorter pathways from point A to point B. Hence, deleting the jittery and the lagginess. Um, and it um, makes less congestion. Uh, it is only active while you're gaming. Otherwise, it, the, the system doesn't kick in. Well, here's the thing. How does the system know that you're gaming? <laughs> that's that's the um, the biggest uh, um, the biggest thing. So, How would the system know? Like, I can understand if it's going to like, you know, Activision servers or to EA servers or to Blizzard servers, you know. But what if you're playing some fucking uh, like obscure multiplayer game, you know? I guess it what just if you're depends, not playing like the big games. It depends how much um how much a bandwidth is getting pulled from the internet. I so guess. you're you're streaming online, you're using like my like my shit's spiking hardcore. And I'm assuming that's when it realizes that you it only spikes when you're doing that. Um hmm. so an internet bill add on the company claims will optimize connections between the player and video game servers for highly popular titles like Fortnite, Apex, there Overwatch. Um, customers who sign up for the service, um, Cox says it will seek out the most efficient path to the game's server. Um, theoretically, this could result in reducing ping, a lower latency, um, which is a big factor for any shooter that has movement or anything like that. Um, Cox Gamer does not speed up your internet itself. The IP address... Um, the ISP told the motherboard that it does not alter speed in any way, nor does it prioritize traffic over other networks. Um, Cox does not want people thinking that this is a fast lane 
that essentially you're gaming, you're you're getting better internet than your neighbor. Um, everyone still has the same internet. It's just prioritize prioritizing the internet inside your house. Um, instead, it's cutting down on the congestion and number of hoops between your PC and the servers that it is trying to reach. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> Uh, it is easy to see how Cox can make money off of this, but is it actually benefit? But the um, the actual benefit for gamers is way less clear. Um, the uh, this company says this track record of this types of service has been very spotty, and most companies have gotten rid of it. Yeah, because it's fucking dumb and it doesn't do shit. So, um, it's already gotten many negative views from Reddit. Um, as it should. So, uh, Cox claims subscribers can control their connection from end to end, but the company s simply doesn't have that sort of infrastructure to make good on that promise. Um, so essentially, even though Cox says you can control everything, they don't have the technology or the servers to be able to do so because they're not a big enough company like Spectrum. Uh, and this is currently only in Arizona. So supposedly yeah, I can. Yeah, it's not I can, leaving Arizona. I, I supposedly I can get it, and I actually got an email about it. That's the only reason why I know about it. <laughs> Asking me to try it. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's never. That's never leaving Arizona. That's dying there. So that's that's interesting to see that concept. Um, the only last thing I have is that it's been confirmed that uh, Suicide Squad Two, um. <laughs> is no longer called Suicide Squad 2. It is a complete reboot. Um, they are completely redoing that movie from front to f from uh, uh, beginning to end. Um, yep. It has not been said if they are re if they are getting new characters, uh, if they are replacing Harley Quinn, uh, Will Smith. Um, but it is a complete reboot. It is not Suicide Squad 2. Um, well, Will Smith wasn't going to be in this one. Yeah, that, I read that a while ago that he he wasn't sure if he wanted to. Um, but Harley Quinn, I guess, is the biggest question mark because it is a complete reboot. Will she be in it? Um, yeah, but what about all the 14-year-old girls wear on Halloween? Yeah, I know. That, the, the, one of the biggest costumes for the last two years. Um, <laughs> and the director, once he is finished doing this, uh, he will immediately start in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yep. That'll be cool. I'm looking forward to that movie. So, Me too. I like the Guardians. They're funny. But yeah, okay. there was originally it was supposed to be Suicide Squad 2. And it was going to be a continuation, but it is not. It is not a sequel of any sort. It is a hundred percent reboot from the movie that's only two years old. Yep, that's that's the state of DC movies. <laughs> I don't. They're think rebooting it's... a series, or they're rebooting a movie that's only been out for two years. I don't even think it's been that. I think it's been like a year and a half. No, it's yeah, been two years. Been on very long at all. But nevertheless, though, it's still it's still hilarious that it's that short amount of time that they were like, yeah, unfortunately, we got to redo it. <laughs> yeah, it, in hopes that yeah. you completely forget about that other one. Well, I think everyone they, already I, has. I think they have to have Harley Quinn in it though, because they have to. That's still to this day a huge seller for costumes. Yeah, you have. <laughs> it is. You, you, think, you, the costume industry will falter if not. <laughs> You gotta think though, like how many girls bought the wig, with their ponytails, dyed it, wear the short skirt, and all that shit. Had the bat, the exactly. hammer. Exactly. Yep. Um, that was huge. That that costume alone was like probably three fourths of the girl costumes last year. Yeah. If not more. Like I said, what are the fourteen year old girls gonna do? And the uh, girls living in a that are sorority sisters, what are they gonna wear for Halloween? Yeah, pretty much. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, because they were talking about doing a standalone movie for her, so um, at, at this point you kind of have to have her in it. But how do you have her in it, and no one else is the same? Yeah, but I don't know. So that is all I have, and that is the the news, ladies and gentlemen. News. Uh, okay. So you want to get on to uh, did you did you have something that you wanted to uh, any any of you guys have any questions that you want to uh? Pose to us that you want to say? No. That comes up. Any big hot topics? Anyone uh, in any of the chats want to say anything? They want to ask us anything? Open forum time. What about the releases? Oh, yeah, fuck. Releases.com. I almost forgot. 
releases.com. What we got All right. Out. Releases. Games coming out. All games. Let's see here. We have... What's that? 28. So we have... What is Fade to Silence? No. Probably a horror game. I would watch, assume. Watch the trailer. We have Bird Game coming out on the PlayStation 4 on the 30th, which would be tomorrow. Uh, at least me and Jeff's time. <laughs> uh, Fade to Silence. Uh, Box VR coming out also on the 30th. Final Fantasy XII the Zodiac Age probably coming out on the Switch. Uh, we have Starlink Battle for Atlas finally coming out on PC. Wow, took them long enough. Uh, Bomb Chicken coming out on PS4. Uh, let's see about March. March. Or May. May. Uh, Tabletop PC. Racing World Tour coming out on the Switch on May 1st. Uh, nothing really. Oh, SNK 40th anniversary collection comes out on the Xbox One on May 3rd. Yep, <laughs> really nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Can't hear you, Walker. Cannot hear you, Walker. I was muted. Sorry. Especially for the for the movie world, you got to figure out for a movie like Avengers, the companies yeah, would be stupid. Uh, you do have in two weeks the Lego Movie Part Two. Oh yeah, I forgot that was coming up. That'll I be forgot good. That thing. Word, word up. Well, I got word nothing else. Up. Do you guys got uh, anything? Uh, no. I think that's the vast majority of it. Yeah, got ourselves a, a nice good two hours. So, uh. Shredder, hmm? what's coming up? What's coming out? Where can they find you? Uh, nowhere. <laughs> you know nowhere. This. Nowhere. I'm... No, I'll probably be crawling out of my cave here pretty soon. Um, especially in gaming on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Typically, you can just search it and it comes up. I think. It should. Used to. <laughs> used to. <laughs> yeah. used to. I, I don't know about it. In anymore. the description box at the bottom of the video. <laughs> Make sure you reach out to him if you're interested in... Uh participating in uh the good old gta 5 server beta test reach out to mm -hmm. him splash screen gaming more the merrier yeah it's gonna be fun what about you well, james about you guys yeah what do you guys got going on uh well let's see here uh we got what i feel like uh uploading it i think so i think because scheduling wise uh we're me and mitchell decide we're gonna drop uh Resident Evil 4 from two days a week to just one day a week. Because uh, we're almost done. We only have a few more episodes left of that. Uh, probably like one or two more recording sessions worth of uh, material left for that. Um, I don't know. We haven't finalized it yet. But we got uh, Yakuza 0 coming out one of these days. A uh, new episode. We got uh, Samurai Warriors 4 Empires. That's going to be starting soon. And same with Resident Evil is still trucking along, uh, as well as still going to get off my ass one of these days and start my uh, start recording for my review um, of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game. Uh, and play some Days Gone. Thank you, uh, man. you can find that on YouTube.com slash People I Studios, Twitch.tv slash People I Studios, and on Twitter at People I Ten. Walker, go. Pew pew. Um, what's coming up? So hoping to get some more Uno in the the, the epic oh, yeah. uh, the epic game of uh, Uno. Some swearing, beer drinking, and having some fun playing Uno. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, I don't know. Maybe if Miller wants to do some uh, um, World War, War Z, Z, play that. <laughs> Call of Duty, probably. Obviously, that's the old reliable Maybe. for us. Um, that's undecided. Uh, it's not dead, but. It's, it's always in the back burner of like, hey, board one, play some Call of Duty. Sure, why not? Um, past that, there's really not that many games. Uno, Uno, man, Uno, Uno is gonna be it until Schroeder releases uh, 
GTA 5, and then <laughs> yeah, I, I want to start uh, until practice. he single handedly releases GTA 5 exactly oh, man. by himself. That's those other guys, the rebrand of GTA 5, because I want to <laughs> I can yeah. be the cop and practice my uh, my, my law authority. Um, inspired by days of our lives. I do. Yeah, vent I was talking yeah. to Nicole about it. I do want to start a YouTube channel because obviously I do have mine. Cap underscore Geech fifteen. Don't really use it, but I need to. But like an adventure YouTube channel, like from all there the all the mountains, the the hiking, the environment, and stuff like here. Um, Get yourself a GoPro. Like that's what I was thinking. Like kind of having like a like an adventure, like a hiking type scenario yeah. slash fitness. Um, that that'd be that'd be interesting. Like kind of like uh, maybe get a drone, have it follow me, have a couple times where you have like the overview of the desert and the mountains and shit. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Um, like go to the Grand Canyon and do all that kind of stuff. It's all here, so uh, might as well take advantage. We'll we'll see what happens. I don't really don't know really how to know how to start go about starting that. But if I'm gonna be losing weight and want to hike and do all that stuff, why not incorporate some fun into it? You know. Yeah. Um, so th that's kind of an idea I've been throwing around. It took me forever to gut up the courage to you do, do the... like Do like geocaching. Yeah. yeah. Um, to do, I, I took me up all the courage to finally do the police academy thing. So why not uh, start branching whoop, out and whoop, that's the sound of the police. Uh, doing more in terms of uh like fun adventure stuff because the, the, yeah. there's a there's people out there like watching that stuff. It's it's cool oh, to yeah. watch. So, um. That's pretty much about it for myself. Don't really have much going on, but as always, you can find me at Cabin underscore Geech 15 on the YouTube, on the Twitch, and Twitter, and just flat out straight Captain uh -huh. Geech 15 on Instagram because Cap underscore Geech, Captain, Captain underscore Geech 15 was deleted. So, yep. <laughs> which I'm, every single time I, I post that image, I'm like, Ugh, okay, this is similar to this image. <laughs> Ugh, gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. And as always, make sure you follow us, you like us, you listen to our podcast live updates every week. Level unlock podcast dot podbean dot com and anywhere podcasts are available. And make sure you follow us on Twitter at what James L V L Unlock Pod. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, as always, for hanging out, for listening. We are your boys. We are your family. Thanks for being there. Thanks for hanging out. Level Unlock Podcast, episode 13. Go. We will see you next week, guys. Have a great Bye. day, evening, whenever you're listening to it. Peace. Have a good one, guys.